Alright. Eddie, let, what's the name of your channel? Uh, Devil Dog. Devil uh, Dog. And the, why did you get the name Devil Dog? Or use that name, I should say. The name Devil Dog comes from, uh, I'm a Marine. I'm a U.S. Marine. I got out of the Marine Corps in November of 93. And Marines are called Devil Dogs. It's another name for them, just like Jarheads or, you know, anything like that. But it was given to us by the Germans in, uh, World War II. Um, and, uh, there was a battle there and, um, we were outnumbered, the Marines were, were outnumbered, outgunned, and running low on ammunition, and no matter what the Germans did, the Marine Corps, the Marines that was there kept fighting back, and the Germans named the Marines Tufelhunden, which is German for basically Devil Dog because we were relentless and didn't stop, didn't give up, and we kept coming and kept coming. And uh, so, because that's a name that us Marines take pride in being called Devil Dog, and even Marines call other other Marines Devil Dogs, so that was why I, you know, came up with the name or created the name Devil Dog as my YouTube channel. Very okay, cool. And how long have you been doing your YouTube channel? Uh, I've been doing it two years this coming April. Two years, awesome. April 16th, I think, or 18th was when I dropped my first video or whatever. And what, what, are your, what is your channel mostly about? Uh, my channel is basically a variety channel. I, I don't have a specific niche. I love doing just about everything, or did in the past when I was younger. But I like fishing, so sometimes you'll see me fishing. I love animals. I have turkeys, dogs, chickens, goats. So you'll see my uh, animals on there. I tried gardening. The uh, only thing I can grow is peppers. And that's a good thing because <laughs> I eat peppers. I eat hot stuff. Uh, and so you'll see me like I I like barbecuing. Me and uh, T-Rock Vittles and such. Uh, a buddy of mine, we did a... A cook off last year we actually did a live for Liberty Liberty Jubilee uh, in Liberty Texas uh, I cook brisket I'm gonna cook brisket for the meetup that's coming up I got three briskets that I'm gonna smoke uh, for this meetup so I do a little bit of everything whatever whatever I feel like doing is what I do I like gaming so I I have another channel that I just do gaming's goof off so people can make fun of me awesome one of the other things I know you're really good at is you help a lot of people you love helping people. You love giving people info. You love helping them set up their their channels. You help them set up everything pretty much from A to Z. So that's really cool. Is that something that you really totally enjoy about doing this part of the, the YouTube and is, is like helping and getting everybody going and stuff? I do. Uh, I had a lot more time when I started my channel. I was basically retired. But about three months ago, I kind of had to go back to work to make ends meet. Uh, and, but before that, I, yeah, I, I got into YouTube and for the money initially, and I was told that I'd be making a lot more money or I could make a lot more money than I actually make being a monetized channel. However, um, uh, <clears throat> what I enjoy is, well, I mean, I got into it for the money. I also like having fun, making people laugh and helping people because a lot of people, don't know what they're doing with YouTube and so I kind of I even have videos on how to set up Nightbot or any I'll, I'm willing to go up on anybody's panel to make them feel more comfortable more at ease when they're starting out and I don't have as much time as I used to but I'll help them set up StreamYard or Nightbot or go up on their panel to make it easier because I'm a talker so I can talk where a lot of people get are real nervous and so I'm always willing to help out because like a buddy of mine, Webb's Web, Ralph, um, he is retired and he enjoys helping people. You, you know, some people, you know, do things specifically or strictly for money, and some people do it. They receive joy out of helping people and making people succeed, or making people laugh, or have fun, or helping them out. And that's what Ralph uh, and and I enjoy doing as well. I mean, the money ain't bad, but I mean. <laughs> But that's a really cool part of it, that you are so willing to help everybody. And um, I remember the first time you invited me to come up on your panel, and I was like, um, I don't know how to do that. And you tried it, you talked me through it. 
in the end, I had no microphone, and I wasn't able to go up. But anyways, I was like, yeah, we'll do this another time. Bye. <laughs> so didn't work so well, but it was my one of my first times going up on a live. So, and that was with you. So it's really cool. Well, as so, long as you got, uh, as long as you came up on my panel before you did Velvet 29s, we're all good. I think I did for sure. I think I did. I have been up on uh, Belt Loops once. So I've only been up a few times. I've been on yours. I think I've been on yours a couple times and I've done Belt Loops once or so. And I think I did um, um, Old Man King, Peter, yep. once. So I think that's about it though. Oh, I did, um, I went up on um, Rita's Roost. Do you know Rita? She's yes, a know Rita. sweet lady. So I went on hers once, but that's it. We went on R and Douglas too. Oh, I did. I went on, uh, uh, yeah, but we were so crazy on that one. We were a little nervous on that one. Yeah. Um, that was uh, that was officially our first one. Yeah, we we really screwed up. Yeah, we yeah we you, you got to learn echo, how to do echo, that echo, stuff. Echo, 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 going in the back row, back row, back row, all this kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. So there's a lot to learn. Eddie's a great job for a guy for teaching you. So if any of you guys, if he has a minute, he'll definitely help you. So. I hate the sound part of it. I mean, I run into sound issues all the time and and things like that. I mean, you know, I, I'd also help people that just get monetized, show them how to set up their uh, their custom emojis and badges. And I've made designs for numerous people on there for their stickers or icons. My wife, you know, she actually, we started out, uh, Print, she started out printing stickers because when we first got our first stickers, sticker mule is expensive. Right. And, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say their name, but it is what it is. They're expensive, and people like us couldn't afford it. And so we went to somewhere else, and it was a lady in the neighborhood, and they she had messed up several times and stuff. So my wife, um, Devil Dogs Keepers, like, you know, well, let's do it ourselves. So with a little bit of help from Belt Loop 29 and others, we got the, you know, equipment to do it. And uh, she put me in making designs a lot of times. And then she would charge half of the prices you could find to make it affordable for just about anybody so they could get channel stickers and, and send out and everything else. And since then, she's expanded into other things as well. Yeah, she does. Uh coffee mugs she did some awesome t-shirts for pens, us t-shirts uh, pens she did she's doing incredible um so you have your meetup the texas meetup yep. um on this saturday, operation on rendezvous 20, uh -huh. 2024 is coming up this saturday which we're going to be so lucky enough to be going to and jamie has made um a huge bag of all the different uh you know uh belt loop stickers um devil dog stickers uh belt loop has uh belt loop little critters uh, yeah, cute critters. Cute critters. Those, yeah. So that's Bell in his and um, Belt Loop's wife is Rosemary's Garden and mm -hmm. Crafts. Yeah, uh, Rosemary Garden and Southern Crafts. I Southern think. Crafts. Yeah. So that's another sticker in there. But it's a really nice package that she made up. So she does an awesome job. And we know that she makes great T-shirts because she's made a couple for us. And he actually did the graphics for us. And he actually walked us through it. He called us, told me to take a picture of our RV. So we stopped. We were on the road. He stopped. We took out, stopped the, the, in the rest area. I jumped amazing, out, took really a picture, well. and sent him the picture. And he got the picture in there. So it actually has our RV on it. It has Sweet Pea in it in a special place. Um, so, yeah, it was awesome. It was really awesome. So working with Devil Dog is um, definitely easy. Yeah. Um, he just made a phone call and talk it right through so it was really really easy and really cool so there's a lot a lot going on over here basically is what i'm trying to say so um you know, i got you guys also check him out because he's a really great channel and he's and his wife jamie also they they, they happen to be the boston terrier breeders so you get to see lots of the boston terrier stuff on there between their adorable four dogs and the uh the puppies going on so lots going on over there so check them all out and i thank you so much not a problem. Pleasure. Thank you for interviewing me.